see as we look at the driver's standings after round one. Nico Rosberg leads the championship with 25 points. Then Ricardo is in second with 18. Myself driving as Lewis Hamilton is in third place with 15 points. Sebastian Vettel in fourth. 12. Nico Hulkenberg in fifth place with 10 points. And Fernando Alonso in sixth place with 8 points. Moving on to now to the constructors classification. Sadie's AMG leads with 40 points. Red Bull behind them in second with 30 points. Scuderia Ferrari in third place with 14 points. And Sahara Force India fourth place with 10 points. McLaren Mercedes with 4 points. And Williams racing 3 points. All of the teams have 0 points. Hello and welcome to F1 2014. We are now in Malaysia for the second race of this season. Starting from last place again, as you can see, our teammate Nico Rosberg has got in pole position again. Only Ricardo in the Red Bull in second, with his teammate Sebastian Vettel in third. There's rain for this race, 100% rain for this race. We are starting the race on the intermediate tyres. Race strategy, one stop on lap 7 to back to the intermediate tyres again. So hopefully we can go out and try our best in changing conditions of Malaysia. So now we are lined up for the Malaysian Grand Prix. The red line is starting to come on, that's four, that's five. Lights out, and away we go for the Malaysian Grand Prix. We get off to an okay start. We move to the inside of the track to try and get into the best position possible going into turn one. Already overtaken, Marcus Ericsson and Caterham. Going to slip through a Maldonado in front of us. Down the inside of a lot of cars behind Kevin Magnussen now up into P15. As we try to move through the pack. Going through turn one and turn two. Now around the outside of a few cars, up into position ten now, behind Sebastian Vettel in the Red Bull. Going through turn three now with a long right hander. Into the slip sheen of him. Now on the inside of Sebastian Vettel, going to turn four. Right down the inside of a lot of cars again. On the outside of Kimi Raikkonen in the Ferrari. Already into position six as we go through. The winding section of the second sector. Now coming through the end of the second sector, the Kimi in front of us, Nicole Hulkenberg in the Force India behind us. As we go through turn nine now, closing onto the back of Kimi Raikkonen, who is behind our team and Nicole Rosberg in fourth place. Hopefully. Coming towards the end of lap one, we can gradually catch up with the three cars in front of us as we go through turn 13 now and turn up to turn 14. Break early into this corner with the conditions as they are. We need to break early for corners. We do not want the back end to slip out on us and get some oversteer. As we go down the back straight now, trying to get into the slipstream with Kimi Raikkonen in front of us. As we go up to turn 15 now. Come to the end of lap one, slowly closing the gap. The cars in front. However, they get the better exit to the final corner as we go on to lap two. Now we break really late into turn one. The cars have held each other up. Fernando Alonso and Nico Rosberg have held Kimi Raikkonen up. A treat for us to go down the inside of him. Also, we have gone around the outside of our teammate Nico Rosberg and up the inside of Fernando Alonso. We're now into position three as we come to the end of the first sector. Valtteri Bottas is the car in front. 
He is three seconds ahead of us. Hopefully we can catch him before we make our first pit stop. That would give us a really good advantage coming into the second half of this race. We slightly cut turn seven and eight, but it affects us a little bit as our teammate Nico Rosberg tries to make a move down the inside going to turn nine. We leave a little bit of room just in case he was still there. We have managed to stay ahead of him. The gap to Bottas has now increased to four seconds because of a little battle with our teammate. However, we should be able to catch him. As long as we get, we have now got clear air, we should be able to catch Valtteri Bottas in the Williams. Now coming down the back straight towards the end of lap two, we have managed to pull a small gap ahead of our teammate behind us in fourth place. Hopefully, we can increase that gap to Nico Rosberg so that we are not affected and we can slowly catch Valtteri Bottas. The gap to Valtteri Bottas is 3.7 seconds. We've increased the gap to Rosberg to more than a second, which is great because just in case the weather changes and it gets drier, the OS will be enabled and if we are within a second of Nico Rosberg behind us, he will be able to use the OS against us. Now coming towards the end of lap 3, we are still in position 3. We have increased the gap to Nico Rosberg behind us, which is a fantastic job. We've been pushing really hard to try and catch Valtteri Bottas. We'll see what the gap is as we come to the end of lap 3. Starting lap 4, we've gone purple in that lap time. Coming now towards midway of the second sector through turns 5 and 6, coming up to turn 7. We've closed the gap to Valtteri Bottas a lot. We're literally within probably a second of him as we come up to the end of the second sector. We have left Nico Rosberg behind us in the dust. He is not going to be able to catch us. We are now right on the gearbox of Valtteri Bottas. We come across the line through the second sector. We are within a second of him now, just under seven tenths. Hopefully we can make a move before we start lap five, or even coming into the first corner of lap five. As we go through the penultimate corner, slowly accelerating through that corner, now into the back straight, trying to get into the slipstream of Bottas in front of us. Or we make a move going into the final corner. When we have a look, we go deep into the breaking into the corner, but we don't make a move. We try and get a good exit as we get into the slipstream, coming down straight to start lap five. As we go purple again in that lap, get into the slipstream of Bottas, go down the inside, going into turn one, we force him wide as we make a move, now going through turn two. We are up into position two, which is fantastic, especially with Nico Rosberg being now two places behind us. We'll be able to gain points on him in the championship. Up next is the race leader, Daniel Ricciardo, as we go deep into turn four. However, we have managed to pull a one and a half second gap for Valtteri Bottas already, which is fantastic. And it's time to catch Ricardo. It's the end of lap six to start lap seven. We're going to be coming in at the end of this lap to make off first and only pit stop in this race, as we can see in front of us. And Ricardo was just set the fastest lap of the race, but we are catching him slowly and steadily. We're going to push really hard now on our out lap before we come in to change our tyres onto another set of intermediates. As we come to the end of the first sector, we put the car into rich mix to use any extra fuel we've got to try and push really hard, try and close the gap before the pit stop. As we can see, the gap is just over two seconds. And Bottas is keeping his distance within behind us at just under one and a half seconds. But it looks like our advantage is 
our pace is good and the weather conditions have not increased as we go through turn 9 up towards turn 10 a little bit of oil spin coming through the exit of turn 9 as a gap so Ricardo stays above the 2 second mark we're going to try and push as much as we can come to the final sector try and break really well into the penultimate corner at a good exit down the back straight we go as you can see we break late to go into the corner because we're going to come into the pits let's see if we can get a really good stop no one else has followed us into the pits Bottas goes back into second our teammate Nico Rosberg has gone into third now we are the first of the leaders to make a pit stop. Let's see how good we can do. Under the 4 second mark again, 3.8 seconds, which is not bad. As long as we can get under the 4 second mark, it's great. Back onto the intermediate tyres. The weather is not doesn't seem to be improving. However, we are going quicker and quicker, which means it is slightly improving. But I doubt that it will improve enough to go onto the dry tyres by the end of the race. Hopefully we can get good temperature into the tyres as early as possible so we can use our outlap as an advantage to try and jump the cars ahead. Coming now down the back straight of lap 8, coming to the end of lap 8, as we can see there are a few cars into the pits. All the cars that were ahead of us are now in the pit lane to see how many places we can gain. As you can see, we have made a great advantage of pushing really hard to our outlap. We have managed to jump Daniel Ricciardo, and we're now into position one at his first place. And hopefully, with Ricciardo trying to heat up his tyres, and our tyres already up to optimal temperature, we can push now to create a gap, and we can win this race. Coming now to the end of lap 9, we have created a small gap to Ricardo. The gap as it sits is 2.2 seconds, we go purple through that lap. Fastest man on track, 2 second gap to Ricardo. This race is ours to win, but it's also our race to lose. Hopefully we can keep it on track and hopefully we can keep the gap to Ricardo and Rosberg behind us. move the car back into standard mix because we have now got optimal fuel we go first sector purple again as we come to the end of lap 13 we have stayed in first place however our teammate Nico Rosberg has moved up to position 2 that is 1-2 now on the podium Mercedes which is fantastic for the team fantastic for the constructors with Ricardo now in position 3 in the Red Bull getting valuable points for Red Bull Racing as well as we go through the first few corners of our final lap we should be able to go on and win this race I highly doubt Nico Osso will be able to catch us and we go purple again through the first sector we are nailing the first three corners of the Malaysian Grand Prix lap as we increase the gap to Rosberg to three seconds that is just under a whole second in one sector that is just great shows we have great pace it's in the rain as well and it looks like we're going to go on and win this race
now come to the penultimate corner of this race, the final lap. Nico Rosberg is nowhere to be seen behind us. We have managed to stay in position one after jumping Daniel Ricciardo at the pit stops. Coming through the final corner now, as we come home to victory, we have now won the Malaysian Grand Prix. 25 points, position one, get in. As you can see in the race standings, we have won the Malaysian Grand Prix. Our teammate Nicola Rosberg in second, Danny Ricciardo holding off Valtteri Bottas to take the final podium position in P3. You scroll down to see that we have one DNF. Fernando Alonso in the Ferrari didn't manage to finish the race. However, we managed to take valuable points in this. With Kevin Magnussen and Jensen Button in the McLaren Mercedes both getting points, rounding out the top 10. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. It really helps out. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new around here. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you and goodbye. Oh,